Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about the dilemma of the male bird. <laughs> I just had to do this video because there's just so many similarities to what I go through with high five people, especially not so much professionals, but high five people. And, and let's walk through the example that, that I observed. There's a nest outside my office window uh, in the spring and, and I watch the male and the female bird build this nest together. And the female bird, she stands at the front of the nest with her wings crossed, <laughs> kind of. And the male bird, he, he goes out and he brings twigs to the nest. And every twig that he brings to the nest, she examines. She picks it up, looks at it. She likes it, it goes in the nest. If she doesn't like it, she throws it over to the side and it, it falls to the ground and they're 20, 30 feet in the air. No big deal for a bird that can fly, but, but I see the dilemma that the male bird <laughs> goes through because he gives her the twig, she examines it, and then if it's accepted, he, he's happy. He, he sits for a while. If it's rejected and tossed over the side of the nest, he looks left, he looks right, he looks at her, the, the female bird, and then he flies off to get another twig. And that left, right, flying off process, it, I just had to laugh because it reminds me, you know, so much of the wife acceptance, acceptance factor that, you know, high five people go through trying to get their system into their room uh, and make everybody in the house happy, you know, make the wife happy that it's, you know, looks nice or whatever uh, the, the criteria are. And then, you know, getting to enjoy his system. But the, the push and pull between the male bird and this male bird, he'll, he'll do this. I think one time I quit counting after 16 or 17 times. I mean, he's very persistent. His, his determination is amazing, you know. But her resolve into letting certain twigs into the nest and certain twigs out of the nest is just as equally as strong as his. So it's this push-pull battle all the time. And the male bird, you know, he, he's looking for the high fight twigs. That, that's what I, I kind of liken this whole example to. I've been asked a lot of times to jump into this situation and, and help, and I will not. Okay, our design service does not include counseling. We're not, you know, psychotherapists here. You, you all need to work out uh, that between you and, and we'll go from there. But I really thought this was kind of funny and had a lot of parallels and similarities to what people go through constantly. I see it all the time. So the poor male bird, let's uh, lighten up on our male birds, please. And, let, let us have our speakers and amplifiers. We, they don't take up that much space. It's the treatment that take up a lot of space. Now I get not wanting to have a lot of treatment in a living listening environment, completely understandable. But I just thought that the parallels to this uh, nature example were, were kind of funny. Just wanted to share. Take care, bye-bye. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions, and I usually get a chance every couple days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum, and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis, so that'll help you. Thank you.